टुडे वी आर डाइविंग इनटू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ एमिशन स्टैंडर्ड्स स्पेसिफिकली भारत स्टेज थ्री फोर एंड सिक्स एंड लेट्स सी व्हाट एक्चुअली हैपन टू बी एस फाइव ऑल दी स्टैंडर्ड्स प्ले ए क्रूशल रोल इन शेपिंग द व्हीकल्स वी ड्राइव एंड द एयर वी ब्रीथ सो लेट्स जम्प राइट इन We all know about the heavy pollution spike that happened in Delhi with increasing number of vehicles on road without restrictions in the exhaust gas that they output entire country will have the same impact of high air pollution to overcome this certain emission standards has to be followed by all manufacturers to keep a check on emissions that their vehicle produce before bs norms the emission norms was called as india 2000 which is equivalent to bs1 which was introduced in the year 2000 nationwide This was in reference to Euro 1 standards that was followed in Europe. Yes, all the standards that India is following is in reference with the Euro emission standard. Before following EU standards, we were all following a mass emission norm that was implemented in 1991. At that time, based on the mass emission standard, the catalytic converter was made mandatory for all vehicles to reduce the emission of particulate matter coming out of the exhaust. If you want a separate video on how the catalytic converter works, comment down below now let's get back to the bs norms bharat stage emission standard 2 bs2 was introduced in the year 2001 in reference to euro 2 initially this standard was introduced only for four wheeler vehicles and later by 2005 all vehicles nationwide were made to meet bs2 standards the idea here was to reduce the amount of harmful gases like carbon monoxide nitrogen oxide hydrocarbons particulate matter and so on Next comes Bharat stage emission standard 3 also called as BS3 which was in reference to Euro 3 standards it was introduced in April 2005 for all four wheeler vehicles and by April 2010 it was implemented for all vehicles nationwide BS3 had a even stricter emission control for all vehicles but in the same April 2010 Bharat stage emission standard 4 or BS4 in reference to Euro 4 came into implementation in Delhi NCR and other 13 major cities due to extreme increase in pollution across the country it was supposed to be nationwide by april 2015 but due to frequent change in bs norms the fuel used in vehicles has to be changed and refined to 50 ppm sulfur content this was very difficult for all the oil companies to supply across the country in a short span of time due to this the nationwide bs4 standard implementation was pushed to april 2017 and the same has been implemented now next As per the norms proposed, BS5 was supposed to be implemented by 2020 to 21 in reference to Euro 5 standards. During this time, the pollution levels in the country, especially like Delhi, was at its peak, and this was due to increase in number of vehicles in the densely populated cities. Also, as per the Euro standard that we are referring to, India was falling behind, as Euro 6 was already approved in Europe by September 2014, and by September 2015, it was implemented across Europe. During this time in year 2015 India was still in process of implementing BS4 norms now to overcome this technology gap and also to bring stricter emission norms India decided to skip BS5 and instructed all manufacturers to directly implement BS6 norms to match european standards of emission by april 2020 and the same was successfully implemented too now let's have a look at the statistics and see what happened due to this norms and standards This is a graph showcasing the sulfur content in BS norm compliant fuels and just by looking at it you can make out that both petrol and diesel has brought down from 500 parts per million to around 10 parts per million sulfur content in the fuel from BS2 to BS6 Sulfur is something that is found in original crude oil and it can be still present after refining After combustion in the engine the sulfur in the fuel forms particulates that are primary contributors for air pollution and it does not only affect the air it also causes harmful corrosions in the engine components now let's have a look at the effect on particulate matter due to bs norms here you can see when in comparison to bs1 or india 2000 we could able to bring down the particulate matter emission from 0.36 to 0.01 by the implementation of bs6 norms This is around 50% reduction when in comparison with the BS4 norm and when we compare BS4 and BS3 we have around 80% reduction in particulate matter. 
and in the same way if you compare bs2 to bs3 we have around 33% reduction and also when compared to bs2 to india 2000 we have around 58% reduction in terms of particulate matter emission from the exhaust now looking at the effect on nitrogen oxide we could see that when we were following india 2000 norms the vehicles in india used to produce around 8 g per kilometer of nitrogen oxide now in bs6 we can see that from 8 we have already come down to 0.4 g per kilometer of nitrogen oxide output that is by skipping bs5 we already could achieve around 89% reduction in terms of nitrogen oxide output from your exhaust you can pause this video and can have a look at the chart by yourself and understand the comparison between the nitrogen oxide output in terms of all the bs norms and there you have it a journey through bare stage 3 4 and 6 from past to the present and into the future these emission standards shape the vehicles we drive and contribute for a cleaner greener world if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe for more content thanks for watching and i'll catch you up in the next one